everybody. Thanks for tuning in today uh, to the Three Whisketeers, where we like to share our whiskey and have fun. Yeah. This is our angel-haired hipster, Curtis. I'm your guest host, Melissa. Jamie's out today. Uh, we have a guest, Curtis, and our happy Honduran down there at the end, Eddie. That's right. <laughs> um, today, we've got a couple things to try that we hope are fun, and I'm really looking forward to. Curtis, would you like to introduce? Oh sure. Ooh, let me let me wait let wait, me. wait wait wait. Okay, well let's talk about this. You you, you remember uh, we had a show not too long ago? Well, okay. actually, quite ways ago. Okay. And, and we had a whiskey and the port that the barrels were used to finish the whiskey. Yeah, that was our Christmas special. Yeah, and that it was. was actually super special. That was one of our best shows, I think. Well, I don't. Know. It was a good show. <laughs> no, it was a good show <laughs> for the content, like what we were doing. Yeah. Well. I uh, was talking to a representative at our local distillery, Cedar uh -huh. Ridge. Cedar Ridge. And she informed me which of their port barrels they used to do their whiskey. Bam! So we got their whiskey and we have their port. And now we can see if it holds true. Okay, we have Cedar Ridge Vineyards American Port Wine, uh, lot number 24, with... Uh, batch number eight, bottle 508 of Cedar Ridge Iowa Bourbon Whiskey, port cask finish, handcrafted small batch, 47%. Okay, so we are having something really special here from our local uh, guys. So, um, so just explain to our viewers what is it that we're having here. We are, we were they, first they made this, right? No. They made, they made that the port. They made the port, which is like a stronger wine, right? It's a fortified wine. Fortified, fortified wine. And then they used those barrels to finish that whiskey. This whiskey, okay. Have you ever had a port glass? Mm, I think we've used these before. Oh, you yeah. have. This okay. is my yeah. first time, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, right. okay let okay. me explain. The theory is, is if you sip the port from here, you get none of the oxygen, so it doesn't change the characteristics of the flavor. Hmm. Okay. Right. So, you can try it from the top and you can try it from the side and see if you think that's true. But first, you want to try it from here. Okay. Um, oh, that's good. That's very right. good. Now, you want to try it from the top and see if you think there's actually a difference. I think there's a difference. Yeah, I don't think I taste that much of a difference, or I can't really put a... It's a little sweeter from Yes, the top. I think it's juicier from yeah. the straw. Yeah. It's juicier from the straw, I think. Yeah! I think it's juicier from the straw, but then the top is like, whoa, you get that hit of sweetness, like, boom! Yeah, I can just... A little stronger. I mean, this is this is sweet anyways. Uh, and Fortified Wine has a lot more body, and that's really what I enjoyed about it. And this is really good. This is very good. Um, Eventually, I'm growing to. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to like port wines more and more, and I've actually been trying more and more. They're a little more expensive than just the normal wine. Obviously, uh, they they sit in a barrel a little longer. And this, they took the barrels and to make this whiskey. And it says here, our classic Iowa bourbon, finished in estate port wine casks for added complexity. Cedar Ridge bourbon is built on base of. Corn whiskey, barley, and rye. Artisans guide the nation's favorite blend through distillation, charcoal filtering, and aging. Enjoy. Enjoy. All right. Well, so, <clears throat> are we gonna try the whiskey? Yes. The, it's perfect. Well, you know which way you we know what you know first? what to the nose. What what yeah. do you think about the pork? I think it has that very like you know okay when you smell wine it has that grape mm -hmm. smell. This is like a more Powerful, yes, and more refined it's smell. It's deep. It's deep. It's got body. I like it a lot. I wonder if they use uh, Cedar Ridge brandy to fortify. I'm, I'm sure they, they do. Must be. They they must be using their brandy to fortify it. Maybe we should have gotten their brandy to try to. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you, Eddie. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, but you know what? I do smell the port on the wine on the whiskey slightly. But it definitely smells like whiskey mm -hmm. for the most part. I can smell the port, but I don't taste the port. And I don't taste it either. In in the in the one that we did, which was the Delmore port finish, 
with the Graham mm. board, the 2011, uh-huh. there was a distinctive infusion of that flavor. Very. Yeah. I, I, I am smelling it, but I'm not tasting it as much in this bourbon as I did in that scotch. Yeah, I'm wondering if they didn't leave it in the barrels longer. And actually, I, I'm going to make the assumption that they didn't, as long as uh, what we did on our previous show. I think this is their three-year bourbon. It's their standard three-year bourbon. Mm -hmm. we, we've had their five-year, and yeah. I, I still think their five-year is way better. Now, yeah. a very interesting thing happened. Um, we had this incredible freeze and uh, here, and it was really, really cold. And they took and bottled some uh, barrels out of that intense cold directly into the bottles. And I happened to have an opportunity to try that. And I don't know, there was something about it that changed the flavor and the characteristic. I don't know, that intense cold shouldn't have affected that alcohol that much, but it really did. Something in the bottling process, it, it, it changed the character of the whiskey and made it really interesting. Really, really good. Well, I think this, I mean, I think it's still pretty, I don't, I wouldn't say, I think it's still green. But not in a green way that I think it's bad. I think the green actually adds character to this because of the port finish. I'm tasting more oak than port. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a very oaky. Extremely port. oaky. But you do get that port, your first sniff. Of yes, the, you do. Mm -hmm. The initial first sniff, you can really smell the port. Do you feel the oak in there? Because I actually feel a little bit of oak yeah. in there. Yeah, yep, I can, I can it's sense like that. It's, 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 I don't want to say it's overwhelming, <laughs> but it's definitely there. And then there's a little bit of green. Mm -hmm. But it's actually, it adds to the character of this. And I actually like it. Yeah. I don't have much of a burn on this. Yeah. It's a little bit. Um, it's a little bit. More uh, towards the center of my tongue. Yeah. By the time it reaches my throat, it's, it's, it's so pretty much, much gone. Yeah. It's very smooth. Then that's what I mean. Yes. It's a little green. Yeah. And the green on it is kind of just adds character. I like it. I, I really do like it. That's one thing I like about a whiskey like this, where you can drink it, and at first it kind of has that sharp burn, so you know you're drinking a whiskey, yeah. but it doesn't follow it all the way down, and where you feel it going all the way down. I yeah, like that. Yeah. Kind of and you know what? I think that's good yeah. to be able to drink something and identify, okay, this is a bourbon, this mm -hmm. is a... Uh, um, this is a scotch or something like that. It kind of lets you know ahead of time, hey, this is what we're tasting, and then all the other notes come in, and they, it, this is definitely a bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have anything to add to that? Well, then please like, subscribe, and share the show with all your friends so they can learn everything we've learned today. And with that, Vern, you want to take us out? All for one and, and one, one for all. all. Yeah! Okay.